Hi, I'm Megan Walker and welcome to the letter T in the A to Z of real-time marketing. So this one is all about tokens. So let's go ahead and have a look. There are two default tokens that appear when you go ahead and actually create a new email in the real-time marketing area. So let's go and jump in. So if I go into real-time marketing and if I go into an email, and we'll create a new email. So if I pick new and then we'll go and choose this template and we'll carry on. So what's going to happen is we've got our email template here and if I click on the personalize tab we can see that there's a section at the top called tokens and if I hover my mouse here it says this is all personalization content in this specific email. So even before I go ahead and actually do anything I've already got company address and preference center, they're already there, they exist as tokens, things that I can use to pass through personalization. Although in this example, I wouldn't call these personalization, these are things that are going to be required if you're sending out an email. So, just like with outbound marketing, if you were sending an email that wasn't a transactional email, you needed to have the company address and you needed to have your unsubscribe or update preferences link at the bottom, right? So this is the same thing. We have company address and we have preference center here. So right here we've got company address and then this unsubscribe link is going to be whatever we go to when we look at the preference center. So somebody gets the email, they click on the bottom and it opens up. So where are these coming from? So let me just go ahead and save this and I'll come back into it. So if I go into the settings area and I go into the compliance section under customer engagement. We've looked at these in other videos where we've looked at the real-time consent and we've also looked at the preference page. So right here, there's the address that we have. So that address, what we've put here on the content compliance section under real-time consent, that's what's gonna be passed through into the token for the company address. And if we click here on the company page and we preview the page, whatever we put, the link that it will go to will come to whatever we've got here in terms of our customized preference page. So that's what the two things are. So if we go back into the um, real-time marketing, back to emails and this one right here. And there we have our company address. Now if I double click on that, we can see there that we've got the company address as the label. There's nothing in the default value because the default value is going to be what's pulled from what we've just looked at in the compliance area. The address will be pulled from that. So we don't need to put a default value in here. What this is pulling from is when we look at our um, personalization, we have compliance and there are these two things that exist at the moment, company address and preference center. So we're pulling from whatever's in that company address field. So if you've left it empty, then nothing will show. You can type in your address here. So I could put in um, a different address here and that is what would be used for that specific email. So if there was a, a difference, a different need, a different requirement for a specific email, we could do that. All right, so let me cancel that now. So let's say that I want to add in some personalization and I want to put in the first name. So if I put my cursor here and then I click on personalization and I'm going to select a data field and I'm going to look for the first name and I'm going to pick that from the contact and then I can go ahead and put valued customer and click save. So now we've got first name. If I then go back to the personalize area, there we can see it's been added into the tokens area. So that tokens area, typically depending on how you're um, creating your templates, if you pick one of the existing templates, those two are going to exist already, company address and preference center. Anytime you add something new to that, you'll see that they will all be added into the tokens area so you can see exactly what personalization you've got or what dynamic fields it is that you're going to be pulling in onto that specific e email. So we're going to look at personalization of emails in a lot more detail in an upcoming video. But for this one, just know that the token section, typically if you've used one of the standard templates, you will see the two, two tokens to start with and then every time you add new personalization, that will be added to the tokens area. So that's it for this one. Let me know if you've got any co comments or questions in the section below and we'll look forward to the next one.
Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.